Hi all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video we will study about validation activity in Data Factory and Synapse Analytics pipelines. This activity lies under the Data Factory documentation along with the other control flow activities list here with a name as validation activity. This activity has the definition as we can use this validation in a pipeline to ensure that the pipeline only continues execution once it has validated the attached dataset reference exists. This validation activity, it validates the attached dataset reference exists, whether the dataset which we will mention in the configuration of the validation activity, it exists or not. And there are few other configurations too, that it meets the specified criteria Okay, the criteria which will mention in the activity or timeout has been reached. And along with the criteria, we have a timeout setting also to mention in the validation activity in order to validate the data set reference. Okay, so if we go down, it has the creation demonstration here with the help of screenshots that we have to select the validation from the pipeline activities. Then in the settings of the validation activity, we have to Add the data set, timeout, sleep, and the other settings which will appear according to the data set we select. Okay, that is the folder or the file which is select. We will see that shortly. Then here the syntax in the form of JSON is given for this activity. If we go further down, the type properties that is the property name and the description is given, the allowed values for those, and whether it is required or not. So name, type and data set, then timeout, sleep, child items and minimum size. Okay, so name and type is the same like we have usually for the other activities. The data set is activity will block the execution until it has validated this data set reference exists and that and that it meets the specified criteria or the timeout has been reached. Data set provided should support minimum size or child items properties. Minimum size will come when we select the file and child items will appear when we select the folder like like we have in the get metadata activity when we select the file the arguments list the arguments in the field list will be different and we select the folder then the field list arguments change. Okay. Next property is the timeout. It specifies the timeout for the activity to run. If no value specified if no value is specified then the default is 12 hours so we'll set the timeout as per our requirement then sleep sleep is the delay in seconds sleep is a delay in seconds between validation attempts if no value is specified default value is 10 seconds okay so default is 10 for the sleep and timeout it is 12 hours child items it checks if the folder has child items can be set to true okay and when it's true then validate that the folder exists and it has items that is files and folders within that particular folder blocks until at least one item is present in the folder or timeout value is reached okay the child items is set to first then it will validate that the folder exists and that it is empty blocks until the folder is empty or until timeout value is reached. If no value is specified in the child items, then the activity will block until the folder exists or until timeout is reached. Okay, so this is important the child items property we will see in the demonstration. Then the minimum size is the next property. It is the size of the file and bytes. So this is only applicable to the file. If no value is specified, the default is zero bytes. Okay, then we'll go and now see it in the data factory and see the validation activity. So we'll go to the author tab and we'll create a new pipeline. We'll name the pipeline as pipeline validation demo one. And the validation activity lies under the general section here with the name as validation so we'll take the validation into the canvas the first tab is general the name and description we'll leave it as is we'll go to the settings tab the settings tab has the main configuration settings 
So the first property is data set where the activity will block the execution until it has validated this data set reference exists or timeout has been reached. So we have to select the data set. So let's first go with the option of selecting the data set or pointing this data set up to the folder level. After completing the folder level properties, we'll go to the file level also. So let's browse to the storage account and take one folder. Okay. So let's connect to the storage gen2 account a delimited text will name the data set as validation data set input storage account link service is there will connect to it file path will select and in the file path we'll select the test input folder and we'll go inside this input files folder okay and we'll leave up to this level will not select any file okay so we'll click ok let it be first row header import schema none and click ok okay so this is a data set where we are inside a container test input inside the folder input files so this is a folder which we have selected in the validation activity settings data set okay so since we have selected the data set as folder you could see here a new option appeared that is called as child items and the data set which we have selected if we go to the storage into account this is the place we are inside the location test input inside the folder input files and it has three files and the folder is input files so here the child items appeared let's first go to the timeout the timeout is it specifies the timeout for the activity to run if no value is specified default value is 12 hours format is d h h m m s s so We'll remove this 12 hours from here, make it 00, zero and in the seconds, let's make it to 59 seconds, close to one minute. Okay, so this is the seconds part. So the last zeros are for the seconds and we have mentioned it approximately one minute, that is 60 seconds. And in the sleep interval, that is, it is a delay in seconds between validation attempts. If no value is specified, default value is 10 seconds. So the delay in seconds for the validation attempts means, let's say, if the folder does not exist at this location inside the test input folder, it will keep on checking if the folder gets created or not. So in the in interval mentioned here, that is 10 seconds, it will keep on doing the attempts of checking the existence of the folder. Okay. Then the timeout is until when the validation activity will keep checking or re-attempting up to this timeout interval which we have mentioned okay let's say we want to keep checking the existence of the folder up to one hour okay and we have to give the duration of one hour in the time out okay that's why we have the settings like dhhmmss we can use that and set the timeout in the validation activity so these two we have configured as one minute the timeout and sleep as 10. Next setting is the child items. The first option is ignore. Check if the folder exists only. If we go back to the official documentation, we were here. If no value is specified, activity will block until the folder exists or until timeout is reached. So this is the setting. Okay. If the folder exists only, then it will ignore and it will proceed with the execution. Then the second Cases, check if the folder exists and it has items in it. That is the true case of the child items. So here can be set to true. True means it will validate that the folder exists and that it has items. And it will block until at least one item is present in the folder or timeout value is reached. So that's why this true setting is there. So we'll make it true for this instance. That is, we'll check if the folder exists and it has items in it. So here we have the folder and it has items too, right? So we'll make this setting and false stands for third setting is there. Check if the folder exists and that it is empty. So here they have mentioned for false validate that the folder exists and that it is empty blocks until folder is empty or until time or value is reached. Okay. So in our case, it is true. We'll set the child items option to true. 
So let's now try to validate this and perform a debug run. It's in progress. It succeeded. So let's first check the input, the data set which we have given. Okay. The configuration of the timeout, sleep and child items is true because it's a folder data set. Then the output. In the output, let's maximize it. It shows exists is true. The result is in the form of this exists value. Okay. It is true. That is the child items present will be shown here. It has three child items and they are shown here and further we will use this activity output validation activity output to perform different operations like we can use the get metadata activity we can use the copy activity and then do the further operation okay so let's say every day a folder is generated in a in a storage account folder which is uh, set for every month okay and inside the month for every day a new folder is generated files are placed there and we have to perform some activities in the pipeline using those files or the folder which are generated every day in the day wise files for that month but due to some reason the file has not arrived from its source okay and the folder also has not been created there then the pipeline then in the main pipeline, it is better to have this validation activity before performing the other activities so that we could upfront check the existence of that folder and then set the timeout and the sleep interval in the validation activity to keep checking it until the file or the folder is created there. So now we'll take next the example of file recovered for the folder. That is the child item settings which we'll do after the data set timeout and the sleep configuration. So in the same validation activity. So now we'll take the example of referencing it to a file. So let's now here in the data set create a new data set. Con plus new storage into account has delimited text. We'll name it as well input file. We'll connect to the link service. We'll browse to the file path that is inside the test input folder, input files folder and we'll select one of the file that is students.csv we selected. It has first row as header then put schema none. We'll click OK. And now we can see that after changing the data set the options change. That is along with the timeout and sleep we have minimum size. Minimum size if we hover over it it says minimum size of file in bytes. If no value is specified, default value is zero bytes. Okay, we can give the minimum size which should be present for that file. So let's say in the input folder, we are validating the existence of the file along with the size of the file. If the file arrived and if it is empty, then we don't want to perform the subsequent activities. Let's say we wanted to copy that file to the location, but the file from the source has come as empty to then we want to apply that validation check whether it is empty the minimum size is greater than let's say 10 bytes 20 bytes okay we can mention over here okay we'll go to the input folder and, and here we could see that the students.csv has 86 bytes okay so we'll mention let's say 50 as the number here that is 50 bytes okay the value is in bytes we have mentioned 50 bytes and we'll now validate this activity and perform a debug run. This time what it will do, it will check at that location for that file, its existence and the minimum size. Let's click on refresh and it succeeded. So in the input we have the reference name, data set reference up to the file level, timeout, sleep, minimum size defined. Then in the output, if we maximize, we could see that the exist value is true. Size is 86. It has given us the actual size of the file. Okay. Then the other details with respect to the pipeline. Okay. So the value comes out to be true here. Now let's take the example of minimum size as 100. And we know that the file is not of 100 bytes. 
and try to debug and see the result. Let's click on refresh. So the validation activity is in progress. It is checking the existence of that file. So here the validation activity duration you can see it is increasing. 22 seconds has crossed at it and it is still in progress because it has not found the file size as 100 bytes and it will keep on executing. See 42 has reached now until the timeout which we have mentioned here 59 is reached. Okay, and it is keep on reattempting to check the file existence along with the size which we have mentioned here until it is meet. So here you can see one minute two seconds has crossed and that sleep duration of reattempt is happening one last time. And the next status will be timeout here. Let's wait for the refresh. So yeah, so in the last attempt also validation activity couldn't find the file which is selected in the data set greater than 100 bytes. Hence it timed out after 59 seconds and performed all the reattempts with the status here as timed out. Okay, so this is how we make use of validation activity in ADF. To perform the validation checks with respect to the data set which we have selected that is it could be applicable at the folder level and at the file level also and the result of this validation activity output is somewhat similar to the get metadata activity result where the result will give you exist value true or false and the other settings with respect to the existence of the file or the folder okay if you have explored the option of the fieldless argument exists, it will show us the same result. But along with that, here in the validation activity, we have other settings that is the timeout, sleep, minimum size and the child item setting extra here for the validation check, which is helpful when we work in real scenario. Uh, so I hope you have understood this uh, validation activity in ADF and Synapse. If you have any queries, to let me know in comments. Thank you for watching. Happy learning. Bye.